This tutorial will teach you how to ensure that your microphone is turned on so we hear you when you record, also how to record in GarageBand using a vocal guide provided for you in Google Classroom. The first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top of your iPad. You'll get this menu. You should see a white circle with a white dot. Mine's currently red because I'm recording, but I'm going to push and hold on that symbol. Up comes a new menu, and at the bottom it says microphone on, and it's red. That is good. That means my microphone's on. If yours is gray and says off, you want to click it and make sure it's red and on. Now I'm ready to record. So I'm going to go and click on Google Classroom to find my vocal track. Click on Classwork and choose the assignment that you've been assigned to record over. I'll just choose one for today. And I'm going to open it up into YouTube. And when it first opens, it usually asks to tap to unmute it. So you're going to want to do that. And then once it starts, it starts working, you're going to want to press pause because we're not quite ready to record yet. I'm going to click the home screen button and then open up GarageBand and get this set up. So you want to create a new document. So either click that uh, white page with the plus sign um, or some of you, it'll open up to this screen instead and you'll click audio recorder voice. All right, now that I have my new project open, there's a few things we need to set up. In the top right-hand corner, there is a white plus sign. I'm gonna click it. I wanna click on section A, and where it says automatic, I wanna tap that circle and turn it to blue. Then, there is a blue metronome symbol in the top right-hand corner. It looks like a triangle with a stick. I wanna turn that off, so I wanna make that gray. I'll still hear a couple metronome clicks at the start of my recording, and then it'll stop, which is good. Couple tips before you forget, sorry, before you begin singing. You absolutely need to put your headphones in the iPad. This will ensure that I only get a recording of your voice only. I don't wanna hear the vocal guide voice or accompaniment, just your voice alone, that's it. The other tip is to sing into the microphone location on your iPad, which is between where you plug your headphones in and the power button on your iPad. There's a little hole, that's where you want to sing into. It's easier for me to make you softer, it is harder for me to make you louder in the recording. So get really close to it. I'm gonna plug my headphones in, and I'm gonna start recording by pushing the red circle and now it is recording my voice, but I need to get my vocal guide. So I'm gonna swipe up slowly from the bottom, push and hold on Google Classroom and drag it to the side. And now I'm going to press play and sing with the recording. I can hear the recording in my headphones, um, but it's only going to record my singing voice. So, me, me, ma, mo, mu. When I'm finished recording, I pause the video, I tap back into GarageBand, and I click Stop. At this time, I would also double check that it actually recorded my voice only, um, and that it worked by pressing the play button and double checking that I can hear my singing voice only. Next, I wanna click on My Songs in the top left-hand corner, and it will take me to where I can share the recording. I'm gonna tap and hold on that recording and click Rename. And you're gonna to wanna to rename it whatever the title is and with your name. So I might do Calvig, and uh, I, I think it was Vowel Shapes and click done. And now I'm gonna tap and hold again and click share. When I get here, you wanna click it share as a song and then click share again. And it should hopefully give you the option to choose Google Classroom where you will upload it back to the same assignment. Hope that helps.